The Senate has once again been called upon to adjudicate the fate of another governor, just months after impeaching Ferdinand Waititu as governor of Kiambu. A decision will have to be made because a motion will then have to be brought to the Senate uh, indicating whether we are going to have a committee of 11 uh, to look at the allegations made, then make recommendations, or we are going to have a plenary uh, session just like we did with the Kiambu. On Tuesday next week, senators will vote on modalities of hearing the impeachment of Kirinyaga Governor Ann Mumbi Waiguru by the County Assembly. The SBC will make a proposal, then that proposal will be subjected to debate on the floor of the House on Tuesday. So, a section of women leaders are however castigating Waiguru's oster, arguing that it is an affront to women leadership in the country. On Wednesday, Gender Affairs Cabinet Secretary Margaret Kobia said Waiguru's impeachment is an indicator that some section of Kenya do not value strong women leadership. Kobia arguing that women are disappointed that the governor is being impeached during the fight against COVID-19, which is negatively impacting on socio-economic development of the country. Mrs. Kobia has not received the evidence as we have brought it to the Senate. And I wish that uh, uh, women of this country, whom we do respect, they can take time and lead through and see what will come out of the Senate. Kitui Governor Charity Ngilu on her Twitter account saying that the travesty visited upon Kirinyaga Governor Anwe Guru is one of the many crooked ways that PhD machinations are using to pull her down. The Mandeleo Yawanawaki organization also condemned Waiguru's impeachment, arguing that it was part of a wider scheme to target women leaders. Don't judge Mandeleo harshly. We are only standing with the principles of this institution and we are entitled to say we need women leadership to move forward. However, not all women leaders appeared to side with the governor. Nakuru Senator Susan Kihika, who was last month removed from her role as majority whip in the Senate, on her Twitter account, argued that Ministry of Gender is perhaps not aware that she too is a woman. The lawmaker asking whether a similar protest later by C.S. Cobia had been lost in the mail. The Senate will decide on whether to form an ad hoc committee to hear Waiguru's impeachment or hear the matter in a plenary before conducting a vote. The governor has since moved to court to challenge the move by the county assembly.